Welcome back to the high score runs of This War of Mine, where we scientifically work out who the best character in the game is. So far, Boris is in the lead with 248 points, but it's now time to talk about Bruno and his run through the game. It started off similar to any of the other runs, with him spending the first day clearing as much as he could and gathering all the resources at home. He found some meds and bandages, and so he took this opportunity to go to the garage and trade them for a decent amount of resources. The next day, he uses the materials that he got from the garage to upgrade the workshop and to make a bed. He has had a pretty strong opening couple of days, as he then goes to the supermarket night two and is able to get the gun very early. By day three, he has been able to throw off his initial illness and the injury that he picked up at the supermarket. He now needs to think about food though, and so he builds himself an oven and a moonshine still on day three. It is worth mentioning at this stage that Bruno's special ability will mean that he will require less water and sugar to make moonshine, as well as his bonuses that we all know about cooking. The next few days go by quickly, with Bruno making as much moonshine as possible and then trading some of that for wood to board up the breaches in his walls. He manages another scavenge on night 6 to get the materials from the cottage, and then builds a water collector on day 8 to improve his alcohol production. On night 8, he finally gets the hatchet from the garage, and so he spends the next couple of days smashing up furniture while his moonshine brews. Going into night 12, things were really going well for Bruno, and it looked like he could get a really strong score. And then it all went wrong. An outbreak of crime started on night 12, and led to an immediate raid, leaving Bruno wounded. We were out of bandages, and he was unable to get more on that day, so we tried to guard on night 13 to keep them out. Unfortunately, he woke up on day 14 depressed and lethally wounded. He tried to make himself feel better and even drank some alcohol to help with the depression. Unfortunately, that meant we couldn't apply the bandages that we had bought off the trader and Bruno subsequently died on day 15. Overall, he got a score of 116, which isn't as low as Anton's 101, but was pretty disappointing for him given I felt a lot of people thought he was going to do very well. I do feel we'll need a new strategy though for those who can't really guard, and I feel like we need it pretty soon, as it's Feta up next, and we all know what happened last time I tried to complete a run with just her. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next run.